wanted to welcome you to Algorithmic Trading, a Practitioner's Guide. Uh, today, Brian and I will take you through an introduction to the course before diving in. wanted to tell you that despite the picture, uh, the markets are not all just mayhem, and there is some serious underlying pattern and, and, um, and, and science to it. And um, our goal is to reveal some of this. Uh, so my name is Nick Ferruzzi. Um, I've been uh, in the finance industry for about 20 years. Uh, more recently, in um, and primarily focused on systematic trading. Um, at um, I've, I started my career at Lehman Brothers. I've been at places like Deutsche Bank, Nomura, at large hedge funds like Citadel, uh, at Exodus Point, and um, and right now doing systematic trading. Um, I started this course. Um, it, it came from a PhD course um, uh, at, uh, taught at UCL in 2016, just a, a PhD reading course, and then grew from there into an MSc course and various different online incarnations. Recently, we've been teaching it to classes of 140 students every year. So it seemed like a good time to offer it, but in a slightly changed form um, to, to be something that was more uh, practical. Uh, and condensed all the same material as the UCL course, but more practical. So I've asked my friend Brian Healy to, uh, to join, and Brian can introduce himself. Sure. Thanks, Nick, and uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, like Nick, I've been in the financial markets broader industry for over 20 years. In fact, I've known Nick for about 20 of those years. And similar background to begin with, we were at investment banks. I was a quant trader structure and did, did most jobs in the end I guess and more recently a consultant to a variety of hedge funds private equity firms also kind of tech startups anybody with a focus on AI machine learning and financial financial markets so like Nick I've also got an academic um, Side to my CV too. For the last ten years, I've been a part-time academic at a variety of institutions. Now at UCL, and I teach mainly again machine learning and kind of mathematics for the uh, financial services kind of type focus courses, maths and finance, etc. And um, through that, I've been exposed to uh, the academic side of really what I do on the on the consulting uh, industry side. So it's a real pleasure to be here, and uh, I think we've got a lot of useful, interesting, and demanding uh, material in the course. So first, we wanted to go through the goals and learning objectives. Um, so th the first goal, as we've stated before, was to provide a strong foundation in the tools and technique techniques used in algorithmic trading. Now, there, it's a vast, vast um, uh, multitude of such tools and techniques. We're trying to give you the essential ones, the things that can really help guide you, because there's many that you will only discover by learning on your own, as we've done. Um, but I, I think that's something that's that's quite important, is actually to to um, sort of uh, to give you the 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 strong foundation. We will cover the essentials all the way from programming, and um, some of the programming concepts, rather than an int introduction to programming through to the advanced trading strategy and methods that are used in reality, in practice today in the industry. Yep, and in particular in discovering new alpha sources because, it's, because what, really, what really changes the way you go about doing things is, is finding new alpha sources and new ways of modeling to, to sort of to, to give better, um, better returns. And then finally, we apply everything in a hands-on project throughout the course. And in particular, we're leading up to the final project where you'll, you'll be working on your own algorithm trading strategy, but also, also presenting it in a way that, as you would probably present to your own to, internally, um, and, and doing all the appropriate statistics to know that you've done uh, appropriate back tests and robustness and soundness checks before you can move forward. So first of all, we'll go through the, the, the modules just to give you, you know, a flavor for what we're going to be doing. Today, this, the, the, the discussion will be on the industry and data sources. Um, so basically an overview of systematic modeling and finance and common data sources. Systematic, the places where it goes on, because there's lots of different places and it's in hidden pockets, not just the quant funds, but elsewhere as well. We'll then look at statistics, time series, and machine learning, all of which are both foundational but also important for forecasting methods and are 
useful in everything you will do in this area. Then we'll talk about features and factors and dimension reduction and regularization. The, way, the reason why we lump this together is that, um, is that in some models they're just features, in others they are factor, they're, 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 they are uh, alternative sources of risk. Uh, so factors are typically single feature strategies effectively and that's one of the basic one one form of quants of quant trading is factor trading or alternative risk premia trading we'll cover it in that section at, the, at that point we'll also talk about modern techniques for handling many features because handling lots of features and being very systematic about how you how you go about dealing with features and storing features and serving features that's a really important thing in algorithmic trading so then following on from that, we get into, I guess, in some ways, the, the meat of the course into uh, trend-based strategies to start with. These are, as you say, the most iconic, but probably the most widespread. They're still, you know, in all, all over the, uh, in all asset classes all over the industry. And the time series and cross-sectional methods that are necessary um, to implement them will be looked at in some detail. And we should mention those are those are the, 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 the strategies which are the most contentious because the finance professionals hated them. They they never liked the fact that trend following actually did work and does work and has been proven to work. Um, so whether or not you like the, the science be behind them, no one fully understands it. They're still a really important, one of the most important sources of return. Then we'll talk about carry, volatility, and other strategies. For instance, mean reversion strategies, uh, Vegas strategies, all sorts of other sorts of strategies that, that are alternative diversifying strategies um, that, that help, you know, that help build, out, um, you know, build out the framework. Knowing about these strategies as well is important because they're, they're the sources return. Even when you combine, if you combine a more complex model where you have trend components and carry components and so on, you still have to know what each one is doing. Then we move on to order execution and market making. So order execution is clearly of paramount importance no matter what strategy you're implementing. So understanding the ways of approaching that, the ways of measuring losses, etc., and order impact. It's related very much to market making, so how the markets work, how orders are placed, executed, how limit order books work, how OTC trading works. So understanding all of that is critically important. and stochastic control is the sort of the area of uh, I guess mathematics that is of critical importance for intraday optimization in particular. Then we move on to back testing and performance measurement. Really here we're looking at um, how do you how do you analyze strategies? How do you analyze and optimize strategies? Because you have your strategies you have to look at it in terms of what performance metrics. There's no clear winner here in terms of performance metrics. Everyone talks about sharp ratio, but there's sharp, there's Kalmar, there's virtually there's so many others and none of them is perfect. But nonetheless, we'll work on how do you go about optimizing them and how do you go about sort of sort of um, uh, measuring your own strategies. And then finally, we have optimal allocation and risk management. And these go together because how you set up your strategy, how you allocate um, your across different asset classes within asset classes very much dictates what risk profile you have. So in order to understand one, you need to understand the other. And these are obviously high dimensional problems. So you've got lots of different things you're investing in. So you've got multi-asset method, multivariate statistics, etc., which we will have covered earlier. And then lots of acronyms that are clearly very important to mean various <laughs> optimization and um, etc. Uh, uh, tactical al asset allocation. Yes, tactical asset allocation Sorry, and, and risk. Yep. And so the, the format of the class, we're going to be giving two, uh, two hours of pre-recorded lectures per week. That's our plans, to at least two hours of pre-recorded lectures, broken into as small chunks as we possibly can, because we know that makes it more digestible. Um, so five to 10 minute chunks as possible, we'll work on that. And then organized into eight modules. Um, and then our plan is one hour of live online lecture per week. So Brian and I will be available online one hour per week to talk about uh, your questions, to talk about more detail in various different sections, talk about anything that's been discussed mm -hmm. online previ previously, because we'll have an online forum for the discussing of problems and issues. Please do bring up any problems or issues you have during that online forum. 
you can as well in the in the one hour section but it's, it's just so it's important that we all get appropriate feedback because it's important that this class is not taught in a vacuum yes. there should always be feedback and it's very hard because it's online so the more feedback you give the more we're, we're able to, to give back and then finally, we'll, we'll be presenting polls and quizzes and other materials and resources. Um, I'd like to get to know about you. I'd like to get to know about what your background is, what you're looking for out of the course, what you're doing right now. Um, and I think these are all very important matters because it helps us to, to guide um, our, our own discussion throughout the, the course of the, um, of, the, uh, of the entire online course. Finally, there's a final project on algo the algo strategy of your choice where you will be writing a paper and, and, and a uh, Python notebook and presenting what it is, why it works, and so on. You don't have to give away the, um, the, the, the absolute secrets there, the, um, but, um, but um, something that is sensible, that's well presented, that, where you have the confidence that you know you can build on this and build something even better.